Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to look at a new HTTP client that I recently came across and I kind of really like it. Um, I have been a big fan of Axios and I have always used Axios in all of my projects but recently I came across this new HTTP client called KY and it looks promising. It's lightweight and it's based on the browser's fetch API which is pretty decent now and it has the support for pretty much all of the modern browsers so um, in this video we'll just take a look at how we can use the API of the KY in contrast to Axios so if you are coming from Axios or any other HTTP client how you can perform the similar operations sort of like authentication and retrying request and things like that so let's see first um, the the primary reason that I like uh, KY or Axios is because of the size and the, uh, another reason is the simplicity of the API. I kind of enjoy working with the API of KY a little bit more than the Axios one. But yeah, um, here we have Axios and it weighs, uh, if we can take it here. So, Axios kind of weighed away around 1.74 megabytes. Well, KY, it's tiny compared to Axios. So if you search for KY, yeah, so it's just 140 kilobytes. It's pretty much the same feature or all of the features with way less um, size. So let's see how we can use it. So in the here I have just simple React project uh, running with Tweet. Um, doesn't have to do anything with the with this HTTP client, but just I just wanted to share, um, in, in terms of a project. So let's get out of this. First, we need to install. I'm using pnpm. You can use whatever you like. So pnpm add ky. So let's install it. Okay, so let me run my project again. Okay, it's running. And the, here I'm going to be demonstrating this Pokemon API. Uh, let's just demonstrate with this Pokemon API that I have here. So we are going to demonstrate the request to this Pokemon API. All right. So here I'm going to just create a new file called, let's call it HTTP client. and then import ky from ky this is called ky now i think that is the default export ky right okay so the base url for this api is this so let's store it as A constant here. Now there are two ways you can create the instance of your HTTP client with the KY. Um, one you can use dot create. Yeah. So you have a create method and then you have extend method. I prefer extend method because it has some cool defaults uh, on it. Uh, create is kind of the bare bone default. Uh, that comes with it but um, extend it it kind of has uh, a few defaults so let's see how we use it so uh, export const hp client ky dot create and then we have prefix url yes that's right so you give it the prefix url as base url um, that I just want to use extend, I don't want to use create. Uh, yeah, right. And then we have a few other things. Um, by the way, KY for built in provides feature related to retry. So let's give it. So if I want to retry my request, then uh, let's say I want to retry it two times after its failure. And then you can also give it some other stuff like methods and status codes and uh, 
here you can provide just all the status quotes that you want this request to retry. So here I just I'm going to go with 403 which is forbidden and uh, yeah I think 401 is good which is unauthorized and that kind of mimics when your token is expired or something like that. So if you hover over it these are the default ones that come with extents. Uh, let's add some interceptors. So in Axios these are called interceptors but here um, these are called hooks. So hooks and then yeah before that let's let's make a request to uh, an endpoint here. So in my app.tsx file I'm just going to make the request in a use effect here. This is just for the demonstration purposes. It, I mean, it does not have to do anything with the, um, with demonstrating this HTTP client, but let's say HTTP client dot get. It is pretty much same as um, how Axios works. So you have methods like get, post, put, delete, all of the basic methods available here. So let's just make a request to the default endpoint, which is Pokemon slash whatever this is. I think this is the detail endpoint. Uh, I don't care. And then you have a .json method that you post make request. Yeah, to make it async. Let's move this here and then call make request here. That is better. Await and then cost. So now, uh, if I look at it, okay, it made a bunch of requests. So yeah, we get our response. Very simple. Now let's see how we can add. Uh, if you if you look at the headers, uh, let's say we want to send authorization header with it, uh, even though it's not required in this API. But let's say we want it, so we can do that in one of our hooks. So before request hook. You can pass as much as you want and in your before request hook you can get your request it could be request yeah you get your request uh, object here and then you can just for example maybe you can have your token stored somewhere get access token yeah so for now let's just use it maybe you can have your token in local storage which is by by the way not recommended but you can just fetch your token from whatever place and then have it here then token yep so that's how you set the headers here uh you know it's just we can just have this as a default function so yeah so now if you look at this new request and then go to the headers we should have uh, our authorization header with pair token token right so let's see if we have our header here this is the response header these are all the response headers yeah okay so we have our authorization header with pair token so yeah that's that's how you handle it in the axios these, uh, these hooks are called interceptors and i kind of like like this approach a little bit better because then here you have all of the um uh, all of your hooks in one object in axios you have your interceptors and then you pass the functions of those interceptors separately so th that's why i did uh, i like this api a little bit better and then there are a few advanced stuff that you can take a look at in the docs uh here in the readme uh, i don't think so they have a, a dedicated docs website but the readme has pretty much everything and uh, uh, another hook that you might want to try is before retry so for example let's say your back and return your token is expired and your back and return a for one you might want to retry um before you you might want to fetch a new token before retrying 
So that's where, where another hook called before retry comes in. And then in this hook, it's the API is pretty much same. You get your request options retry count. Yep, that's it. But this is not like this. That's how it is. So you get it as an object. And here you can check if your error is an instance of HTTP error. So this is just, let's call it error instance of HTTP. So every error by default or at the root is the instance of HTTP error which comes from KY HTTP error so if it's an instance of this now we can get full intelligence yep there you go so you can get you can have a mock function refresh token and then whatever you want to call it doesn't have to be an async function then new token right and here in the request can you can you can maybe check if the retry account is one let's just check if the retry account is one retry account is equals to one that's better uh, we want to not keep these options you can explore that part in the in the docs but yeah that's all you need and it's pretty clean uh, here this is like this and then yeah right so that's how simple it is to use ky there are many other options that you can use uh, by the way if you want to use it with uh, with typescript you can pass generics here like data or whatever these so you it allows you to pass a generic to sorry that's not where you want to pass the generic it's this json chain function that gets the generic passed and then now you have the response fully typed like this uh, i know it's not like this but yeah you get the point so yeah that's all um related to this new HTTP client that um, I kind of really like now and that's my go-to with all of the new projects. So I hope you like it. Uh, for more details you can take a look at this docs and read me. Uh, it's pretty much everything in detail here and just leave your thoughts in the comment. See you guys. Bye.